you're given this circuit and you're asked to solve for you need to solve for the current across both resistors or each resistor so you need two currents so you have this one here and this one here let's just call them I sub 1 I sub 2 now I'm here assuming that you already know Ohm's law V equals I times R and I equals V over resistance, voltage over resistance. Now you may have noticed that these resistors are in parallel. The first instinct would sometimes be to combine them, but, but we would lose one of the currents and then we'd only have one current and that wouldn't be the currents on both these each of these branches wouldn't be the same so let's we need to attack it a different way um, if you look at the top here well for starters we can we can say that this is ground that's ground so that's going to be zero volts so down here is going to be zero volts Now our power source here is 12 volts, so that means that the top here is going to be 12 volts. So to find the current, we are going to need to set up an equation that looks like this one up here. Okay, so for I sub 1, use a different color here, how about green? I'll do it down here. For I sub 1, you have, we got the 12 volts voltage minus the 0 volts here on the bottom. Obviously that's 12, but I'm just putting it there because that's, you know, sometimes it's not zero. And that's going to be over the 10 ohms. So that equals 6 over 5 amps. So we have I sub 1. And if you want to change that to a decimal, that's 1.2 amps. 1.2 amps. Sometimes it's easier to work with the decimals. For I sub 2, that's way too bright. For I sub 2, we still have the 12 volts here. This is also going to be 12 volts. This, this entire node on the top here is 12 volts. And this entire node here on the bottom is 0. So for I sub 2, it's going to be, again, 12 minus, and the drops over, over the 15 is going to lead us to this 0 volt node here. So 12 minus 0 over 15 ohms gives us, well, I'll just do the decimal out right now. That is 0 0.8 amps. So now we've solved for I sub 1 and I sub 2. Now we could stop there or we can go back and we can check our work. And we can check our work by basically consolidating those two, um, those two resistors and redrawing the circuit and then checking to make sure that our two currents here, the 1.2 and the 0.8, add up to 2 amps. So, real quick, just do a real quick redraw here. So we've got the 12 volts. And when you 
are combining parallel resistors, you do the product over the sum. So for these two, we're going to do 10 times 15 over 10 plus 15. So that's 150 over 25, and that's going to equal 6 ohms. So the new resistance is going to be 6 ohms. Now if you use Ohm's Law again here, let's just call this current, let's call this current, current I sub X to not get it mixed up with the other ones. Looking for I sub X here equals, again, V over R equals 12 volts. We got the 12 volts over the 6 ohms, and that's going to equal amps. And you can see that our 1.2 plus the 0 0.8 amps does equal the 2 amps that we have for, and, and some people might call this I total. So it does check out and our answer is is right, but that's one way you can check your work.